Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to another review, and in this one we have Earthrise War for Cybertron Starscream. Before we jump into this review, if you guys can go down and leave a like and subscribe, and hit the notification icon if you want to stay up to date with all the latest videos when they come out. And let's get into the video. So as per all of the War for Cybertron stuff, and all the other ones that we find the boxes for, we're going to start with the box first. And as you can see, it is, uh, yeah, it's just like grapples. Transformers, Dakar, Tony, Hasbro, Dark Scream, Cybertron in writing, Insert, let's see, Earthrise Wolf, Cybertron, 8 Plus. This side you've got the uh, Earthrise artwork, which looks awesome as per always. Super cool. Back you have the Star Scream in both modes with the, uh, I can't remember his name, the ox that turns into a hammer. And also a star screen on the side looking like a treacherous piece of crap. And yeah, that will do it for the box. Now this figure I picked up from Smith's. Uh, I would normally shut out Kapow Toys for the Earthrise stuff, but they let me down the last grapple figure because I haven't received that yet and it's been a couple of weeks. So uh, I didn't mind the deal, guys. Where's yours? But uh, yeah, this is Cybertron Starscream in his... Earth mode, should we call it? He is a F-22 jet. I don't quite know where F-16. I do not hold me to that. I don't know my jets. But yeah, he is a jet in his Earth mode, and he looks awesome. Very, very G1, with zero scuff damage because it's not Siege anymore, which I am a fan of. And he just looks absolutely incredible. So the detail on him is just awesome. I won't be able to... Uh, I think we're going to have to go... A little bit closer. So as you can see, there is plenty of mechanical detail. I love these little turbines in here. I see loads of sculpted detail all over the figure. I also have that sort of seeker chest piece there, which is cool. Some nice details in here as well. Lovely details all around. Nice accents on the uh, the blue or the red there. Unfortunately, this isn't metallic. Is a nice a flat blue. And to the back, obviously we have hollow wings for money saving, but we do have nice build chins, which are part of the transformation. And they're also, this figure is very much like the universe star screen. Very, very much like it. A proper, you know, seeker, and I really like it. I'm actually digging the uh, the feet sculpts here at the back. So a little vent, and I like that. Obviously, accessory-wise, all you get is here two no-ray blasters on each arm. And that's his accessories. Now, I want to compare him to one of my favourite Seekers, Thundercracker. Now, let's see if we can get this guy in the booth at the same time. Probably not, because it's tiny. Here is Thundercracker, next to the Green. Get up. As you can see, Thundercracker is uh, a lot more battle damage, shall we say. And obviously he has his triple dusters at the back for a cyber turn that but this is not a review on Thundercracker. So I mean, the comparison between the two. And you see, I much more prefer Starscream's chest piece. Is are actually properly recessed in, whereas his are just sort of painted on there. Right, right, right there. Also, the cop on Starscream is better, and I'm not a fan of that mess. On the uh, the cop there, but I mean, it suits a side train mode. That is Thunder Cream. Uh, Thunder. <laughs> Thunder Cream. <laughs> that is Thunder Cracker. Not Thunder Cream. Right. Let's get into Star Scream's movement, shall we? So, this guy, like most figures, has plenty of articulation. Let's move it back a bit. And we'll sit the head. You've got the usual, it's on a ball joint. So, you've got quite a nice bit of movement. A good old little bit of a head head sort of there. And a full rotation at the head. Nice stiff joint, which is always good. Obviously, you cannot get a 360 rotation out because of wings and stuff. But I think if we move the wings down... No, there's no way we can really cheese it to get a 360. But they go quite far nonetheless. What we're going to do is move them down. We've got 
90 degree out angle, which is awesome. We have a rotation at the uh, the bicep there, like so, and rotation at the elbow, angle joint there, and we have the most annoying one of all. What the fuck is that? That is 100% part of the transformation, but I don't like it because it doesn't sit in there. It's very, very loose and very, very annoying. So that is for the arms. We have no crunch or anything, but we do have a very nice split. If it will... No, it's, it's, it's still nice nonetheless. It's not a full, full split, but we'll take it. Front ways, we do have a moving crotch panel. We can do that. And it looks like the ass panel moves, but mine doesn't, so I guess it doesn't. That's how much of a front and back spread you can get. So we have a knee joint because it's a knee, and we have a bit of a pivot. That's as much of a pivot as you're going to get. But yeah, I mean, articulation wise, he is pretty good, but let's be honest, this mode. All we care about is, does he look like a seeker, a proper seeker? Not this kind of seeker. Yes, he does. Does he look like an awesome earth jet? Yes, he does. So, let's get into his awesome earth, uh, awesome earth jet mode. Jesus, go to it. <laughs> If I could turn the hourglass over If I could set the clock back You wouldn't change a thing, I know that I know that And when I look at the world around me I see what might have been But every deed has got a price tag Now I know You cut me wide open You play me like a game And this is what it's like living your life in regret I wish I never, I wish I never I wish I never met So this is Cybertron. Cybertron? 
This is Starscream's War for Cybertron Earthrise Alt Mode. And in this one, I think it looks amazing. The transformation process is a bit fiddly and tedious. How, how dare you? Did I say you can move? No. Yeah, back up there. But yeah, the, uh, the transformation's a bit tedious. Some parts don't want to lock in, and then that causes other parts to pop out, and it's just... Uh, but as you can see, it does look good when it's done. I think it's is it an F sixteen F twenty two. Um, just just tell me down in the comments below what uh, what jet this is. She looks like an F sixteen or F twenty two. I'm not I'm not too clued up. But uh, one thing I've noticed as well is this wing here. They're on like a sort of weird weird joint right there, and it has a tendency to pop off. Uh, I transformed this actually once before. Uh, other than now, and uh, yeah. The entire time I was transforming it, that wing kept popping off. So maybe that's something you'll watch out for. Another thing as well, all these sort of painted areas, which I really appreciate. But if they're printed in red plastic, that probably would be better. But obviously you wouldn't have had that gloss finish as such. Um, that's it, Starscream's head as well. I don't think that these painted parts, especially not like here, the joints. Like this one isn't even bloody clipping in. And actually, there you're saying that. I'm getting paint chipping already. I've transformed this once. It's ridiculous. It's like the the paint applications are great, but in the wrong damn area. <laughs> it's just uh Hasbro. Why? I Me mean, obviously those probably won't last that long. I think I've noticed with the Earthrise some of the paint applications aren't the greatest. Well, so you do have siege ports on here, which obviously are perfect for his null rays. Just he just looks awesome in both modes. He looks like he just looks like a perfect star screen. Like I prefer him over the masterpiece figures, and obviously, uh, hopefully they do a, uh, a thundercracker. But uh, yeah, that is Earthrise Star Scream. I mean, you can't really say anything about Poser, but obviously he does have a little bit of a flappy wings here. They're not supposed to do that. Because obviously, if a plane did that, it'd probably be used for folding. I mean, yes, I've seen some kind of plane that do that storage, but I don't think it's supposed to do that. The actual jet probably doesn't do that. And uh, obviously, you have little flappy wings there and these little toe thrusters. But yeah. That is Earthrise Starscream. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you want to see more, you know what to do. Subscribe, like, and comment down below. Who is your favourite seeker? I really want to find out because uh, I don't know who mine is. I'm going to say it again. Thundercracker.